Hey everyone, welcome back to NetTuts. In today's video quick tip, we are going to take a look at another CSS3 module uh, for multi-column layout. So it's pretty nice here. As you can see, I just have a heading, and this is all one single paragraph. But within our CSS file, we're declaring a column count and a column gap, and this allows us to have multi-columns, like you would see maybe in a newspaper. Now, this is only going to work in Mozilla and uh, WebKit browsers, but that's actually pretty nice that we have access to that. And then in IE or Opera, it'll simply default to uh, one long paragraph, which might be just fine. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to go and refresh the page and go into Coda, and you can see here we have a div with an ID of container. There's our image of the business cards, a heading, and a paragraph, and that's it. So if I save this and I come back and refresh the page, there we go, and we're ready to get started. Okay, within style tags, I'm going to style our container, and we'll just give it a width of 600 pixels. These are mostly arbitrary. Uh, margins of auto to center it on the page, a background of kind of a light gray color, and let's give it some padding all around of 10 pixels. And lastly, let's just do a quick font, uh, 12 pixels and 1.6 line height. Helvetica, Arial, Sans Serif. Okay, refresh the page and our image is a little big, so let's just go ahead and uh, just make that width, just for our simple example, to 100%. Okay, so this is how it's going to look in browsers that don't understand column gap. And that's fine. There's really nothing wrong with that. But if we want to add just an extra touch and add uh, multi-columns for this description, uh, we can do that really easily. So I'm going to go into uh, container P, and we will simply do, we're working in WebKit to start, so we're going to do WebKit column count 3. If I refresh the page in one styling, we've done that. So obviously the number refers to the number of columns that you want. Usually stick with two or three, maybe four. Now we can take this further if we want to specify a gap, WebKit column gap and maybe 10 pixels. Okay, and if we want to set that to 40, you can see what that does. Okay, so 10 sounds good. Uh, we can specify uh, dividers. So that would be WebKit column rule and maybe one, pix, uh, one pixel dotted gray. Okay, and you can see that's what that does there is it creates a divider. I'm not going to worry about that. Now, in addition to column count and column gap, we can also set a width. So if you want to be more specific, you could do WebKit column width and maybe 150 pixels and keep the gap at 10 pixels and now you can see it's kind of the same so we wanted to maybe do 200 pixels and that'll make it enough where it can only fit two columns in there so that'll give you a little more control although I found usually specifying the uh, specifying the count is enough for me so let's get rid of that column count maybe go back to four Pretty cool. So now we need to move over to Firefox, and if I refresh the page, uh, it's not going to work, and that's because we haven't specified any uh, Mozilla. Uh, luckily, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is moz column count four. And now in Firefox, it's working, and we have access to pretty much the exact same uh, properties, 10 pixels. Why don't we do 20 pixels here? Okay, if we want to move 10 pixels over to 2. Okay, it's really that simple. So, in the modern browsers, Safari, Chrome, Firefox, we have access to multi columns really easily. And it's just no big deal if you're in Opera or Internet Explorer, if I refresh the page. Uh, we just get a single column, and to be honest, I'm not sure if Opera has imp implemented its own uh, version of columns yet. It might, it might not. I'll have to check up on that. But if it does, good deal. We can add that in, and if it's not, no big deal. A single pair of paragraph still looks fine. We're just adding a little bit of uh, an extra feature for the modern browsers. As always, be sure to visit NetTouch for the best tutorials and screencasts available. My name is Jeffrey Way, and we'll see you next week. Bye.